I'm happy to uh, give some updates on this particular uh, clinical trial, which is uh, in um, NIH-funded uh, investigator-initiated study that we are doing at Mayo Clinic. And this is looking at a different type of immunotherapy modality. So it is uh, using patient's own dendritic cells to that's uh, injected into uh, a patient's tumor that's been treated with cryoablation as a way of resetting the tumor microenvironment immune suppression and uh, priming the patient's own immune system to target more uh, lymphoma antigens with the idea that instead of like CD19 CAR T where we're just targeting CD19 is that these dendritic cells might prime the patient's own T cells to target a broader set of lymphoma antigens. And then following that up with uh, pembrolizumab as a way of keeping those T cells more active. Um, so, so far we've treated about 15 patients on this study. Um, this is a study that takes on uh, any number of B-cell non-Hodgkin lymphomas. We have a mix of histologies treated. Um, and what's interesting is that um, we have taken a few patients who are post-CD19 CAR-T as well to see where the, the signal might be in that space. So if we're not seeing a response from CD19 only targeting CAR-T, can we induce more of an immune system response with a dendritic cell uh, approach? There's certainly been anecdotal experiences and some trial uh, early data about combination of checkpoint inhibitor with CAR-T. So what we've seen so far is there's no concern when it comes to safety signal. Um, the dendritic cells interact with T cells by uh, normal or natural immune interaction systems. So the side effect has been very manageable. We have seen some patients with clinical response up to um, one year. Uh, in the post-CAR T setting, that can be challenging. Uh, what we're seeing is that we can see some responses in a couple of the patients, um, but so far of those patients, it has not been uh, beyond one year, has not been very durable. And I think that has uh, something to do with the fact that quite often post-CAR T treatment, we're seeing the relapse early uh, in the first three months or so. And that may be a time where the overall immune system have not completely recovered from the treatment. So we're learning a lot about the, the biology or the mechanisms of immune actions and really hoping to take that information to look at now that we have CAR-T as a standard of care for follicular lymphomas and aggressive lymphomas, where are the opportunities to um, deepen the response or prolong the response rate um, in the post-CAR-T setting?